So now we are going to open up Inkscape and we're going to get started by adding our satellite imagery as our first few layers. So where do we need to go? Well, let's open up Inkscape. And when you do that, you're gonna get a new document. Um, and then we're gonna come over here and you can see we're gonna be in this layers and objects tab up here. And we're gonna to go to file, open, and we need to find our satellite imagery. Now, depending on where you got it from, you uh, might have to go to some different places. Now, let's talk first. If you created it yourself, you created your own imagery from the LiDAR process in your OPCD projects, and this is if you followed my recommendations for how to organize your course and your projects, you're gonna to go to OPCD projects and the name of your project, in this case, no, I'm gonna do TPC Harding Park, uh, in here, we'll have our QGIS support files, the name of our course again, and then we'll have a folder that we put our overlays in. So you can see here are my Harding Park overlays. Uh, the other option is if someone created them for you, for example, Pac-Man, inside of that same OPCD projects folder, so TPC Harding Park for me, inside of the Unity folder, so in this case, the TPC CHV4, and then assets, and then under terrain backup. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click on details, and you can see here are a bunch of my satellite overlays I have in there. I got these ones from Pac-Man. And if you did a shift, you wanna make sure that you use the shifted ones because those are the ones that line up with your terrain. So I'm gonna start with my TPC Harding Park Bing shifted. So I'm gonna open up that. And I'm gonna make sure in here, make sure this is set to link, okay? If it's set to embed, it's gonna save the file in the same, it's gonna save your satellite images in the same file that everything else gets saved. And it's gonna make your size really big. So when, later on, when you go to upload this to Clender and it says your file's too big, it's because you didn't select linked here, okay? Um, so make sure you select link, I'm gonna hit okay. It's going to take a few seconds it's going to import that in and you can see i now have my bing satellite overlay and up here i've got a new folder called image and if i expand that i have the name of my file called image so i'm going to change the name of this folder i'm going to double click i'm just going to call this satellite i can call it satellite overlays and then hit enter and then underneath this i'm going to double click on this little new uh my image itself and i'm going to put bing because that's my bing image now I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna say File, Document Properties, and let me bring this down over here. And in my Document Properties, really important guys, first of all, change this from pixels to millimeters and change your height and width to the size of your terrain. So when you created your inner uh, shape files, remember in the LiDAR to terrain process, you had a terrain size, that's what you're putting in here, okay? It's probably not 1900 for you, that's just mine. Or you need to look in your Unity and your terrain settings to figure out what you did in there, okay? But this is your terrain size and make sure this is set to millimeters, all right? We're gonna close that. What we're also going to do is with this Bing selected, we're gonna come up here, make sure your X, okay, and Y are set to zero. If you don't see these up here, it's because you don't have this arrow selected. So make sure you have the arrow selected over here. And then this width and height, you're gonna change this to the size of your train as well. In my case, 1900, yours is gonna be different. And then again, make sure you change this to uh, from pixels to millimeters. And when you do that, whoops, see my values change here. Now I need to go back and change this, 1900. 1900 so you make sure that you change this the millimeters first okay hit enter and now you'll see that my bing overlay fits exactly on top of my canvas in inkscape so now i have my bing overlay done now instead of doing file open we're going to do file import and now i'm going to find my overlay my other one in this case it'll be from my google one which is going to my TPC Harding Park G shifted. Double click on that. Make sure I have linked. That's gonna import and it should show up in this folder. 
Come on, it takes a minute to render. It's a pretty big file. There we go. So image 17, it's called now. I'm going to double click on that, call it Google. And now I'm going to come up here again and make sure my X and my Y are zero. And I'm going to make sure this is millimeters and I'm going to change this to the size of my terrain, 1900. So now I have my Google imported. I'm going to bring my hill shade in as well. So I'm going to do file, import, and now I'm going to find my hill shade, which is right here. Double click on it, make sure I have linked, link on uh, checked here, hit OK. And that comes in. I'm going to rename this my hill shade, enter, make sure X and Y are zero, width and height 1900, 1900, and make sure I got millimeters here, enter. That looks pretty good. So now I have my reference images here. And if I come over here to the satellite overlays, you'll see I can turn that on and off. So all of them are on, all of them off. And then down here, I can turn off my hill shade. So now I'm seeing, because my Google's the next one on top, I'm seeing that. Now I can turn my Google off and I have my Bing. So you can see I can cycle through and change these as needed. Okay. Um, Another thing is I can also lock this layer. So if I come up here and hit this little lock button, now, okay, I can still turn these on and off, but now I can't do anything else to this layer. This comes in useful because I don't want to accidentally grab and shift these layers around. So that's why I typically leave these locked and I'll create different layers, which we'll cover later on to do the rest of the course. Last thing we need to do is save what we've done. So we're going to save our Inkscape file and we're just going to come up here to the right, file, save as, and then we're going to browse to our OPCD projects folder. So if you don't remember where that is, you need to remember that I put it on my D drive. So I got my OPCD projects. This is TPC Harding Park. And then in here, um, you can really put it anywhere inside your project. I like to create a new folder for my Inkscape saves. I'm just going to call this Inkscape. Open that up. And then I'm just going to call this TPC Harding Park. I'm going to get rid of all this other stuff in here. So I'm just going to call this TPC Harding Park SVG. And then save. And now that is saved. And we can move on to the next video.